Hey guys, it's Cece and welcome to a vlog! So in case you didn't see my recent vlog, my most recent one, which was my Daisy Jones and the Six reading vlog, um, which has spoilers, so I would understand if you didn't watch that, um, and if you don't follow me on Twitter, you might not know that I am tentatively planning on starting weekly vlogs. Just vlogging every single week of my life. Um, which is daunting, but is something that I've wanted to do. Like, I've toyed with doing it for years, and I'm I'm just gonna, like, actually push myself and see how I do creating a vlog every single week. Um, and maybe that'll change later, maybe I'll decide that it's too much for me, but for now that's going to be my new goal. Um, this isn't going to be a vlog of a full week, but it is going to be a vlog of a full weekend full of stuff that I have to get done, and full of stuff I'm really excited to get done. So I thought I would vlog this as sort of an intro into vlogging whatever I want, whenever I want. Welcome to my life. So this weekend, two big things are happening. Well, one big thing, one thing that I'm excited about. Um, tomorrow, the Salt Lake County Library is having a library book sale, and I haven't been able to go to a library book sale in years, because they always happen when I am out of town. <laughs> like, no matter where I am, the library book sale is happening at a different time in a different state. So, I'm very excited because tomorrow I'm gonna go buy books that I don't need. The super exciting thing that's happening this weekend is FanX Salt Lake City, which is um, Salt Lake's version of Comic-Con, basically. I vlogged it when I went in October of last year. And 2019 in April, the con is only for two days, Friday and Saturday, but I will be going both days, I will be cosplaying both days, and I'm going to be meeting some really cool people. I'm meeting Billy Piper, who is Rose Tyler from Doctor Who, and I'm meeting Clark Gregg, who is Agent Coulson, from the Marvel Cinematic Universe, so I'm really pumped. Um, but today it's Wednesday, so I am doing a bunch of con-related stuff today to get prepared for convention things, and I thought I would take you along with me. Um, I'm gonna go pick up some contact lenses, which is fairly boring. I'm also gonna go see my mom, and we're gonna figure out tickets for BEA and BookCon. Again, not con-related, but things that have to get done. But I'm also running to a couple of different Goodwills to see if I can find better shirts for both of the cosplays that I'm doing. I am doing a Luna Lovegood inspired look one day, and then a, um, a very chill Rose Tyler cosplay on the second day when I'm meeting her. It's not like photo accurate, but it's, it's an attempt. So, we're gonna do that, and that is the plan for this here vlog. I hope you're excited. Oh, and before we get going, let's do a little outfit of the day. So this is what I am wearing today. Um, some fun purple Converse. My brand new striped, like, faux acid wash denim. These are from Target. And, uh, a Friends t-shirt that I got, I think, from Cotton On. My sister found it. She wanted free shipping, and I was like, yeah, I'll buy a t-shirt. So that is this. And Brian, my lovely roommate, has been gone for a couple of days. He's gonna be gone again all day today, and he'll be gone for a bunch of tomorrow. So I am taking care of all of the many animals in the apartment. And as it is the afternoon, before I head out to drive down to Ogden, I am going to take Cora out on her afternoon walk. I wonder if she heard me. Hey, Cora! Do you want to go outside? Cora! Do you want to go outside? Do you want to go outside with me? Yes, yes, yes! Okay, so I went and picked up contact lenses. It went very well considering I haven't renewed my prescription in almost two years. I thought they weren't going to give me a set and I, I feel like this woman just looked into my eyes and knew that 
it was okay to give me contact lenses for one day and I was a good person and I am going to get a new eye doctor appointment. I feel like I'm always at like my best self when I'm at the eye doctor. I couldn't tell you why. Just for some reason, every time I'm at the eye doctor, I feel like the most grown up version of myself and all of a sudden I have the ability to speak to other adults and it all goes fairly well. It's a skill I don't know that's if it's that useful, but as someone with broken eyes, I mean, it comes in handy more often than you'd think. Um, and now I am going to meet my mom at her condo, which is still being renovated, so I get to see what's been done on it in the past few months, because I haven't been here. Um, and she lives literally steps from an independent bookstore, and so it's going to take everything within myself to not go into the independent bookstore. I'm gonna have to walk past it, be a strong person, and just keep thinking, you're going to a library book sale tomorrow. You're going to a library book sale tomorrow. Hi all, it's nighttime and I have updates. So let's see, let's see. Um, I fixed my shirt for my Rose cosplay. My mom helped me to shorten it and take it in a little bit. So that's a good. Um, I got my plain stuff all settled for BEA and BookCon. I'm all set there. Uh, I also am going to visit a friend from college while I'm there, so I'm gonna go a couple days early and be in New Jersey. I also ran to the Goodwill and somehow found two perfect items to complete my Rose cosplay, a perfect item to complete my Luna cosplay, and a, like all of the Payless's... Payless's? Payless Eye uh, nationwide are shutting down, so I ran into a Payless Shoes, um, and there were these perfect blue sneakers there that were 40% off. So I was settled, and it was right next door to Sally's Beauty Supply, which means that I got to get all of my wig supplies. It was the simplest shopping thing. Unfortunately, there's been an issue with my Luna vest that apparently Amazon tried to deliver the vest today, um, but for no reason it says the delivery was attempted and not finished. I don't know why. Amazon is supposed to leave packages at our door, and if not, they're supposed to deliver them to the office where people are always waiting. But it says delivery attempted, and when I called, they were like, it's at the it's at the driver's discretion. And no matter what I said, the lady was like, it's at the driver's discretion. So it's possible I won't even get my Luna vest in time. You'll have to see, and I'm just hoping, because I have to distress it and attach pins and patches, and that's gonna take a while, so I'm calling the office of our apartment complex tomorrow and asking them to call me as soon as the package gets there so I can get there before the office closes. <sighs> Maybe. But it is like two in the morning almost, and I am going to go to sleep. Um, and Brian will be back tomorrow, and Cora is gonna lose her mind because she misses him so much, and she's so sad, and it's making me really sad, but it's gonna be okay, huh, Cora? Is it, what? Is everything gonna be okay? Did you know that your dad is coming home tomorrow? Her dad's coming home tomorrow, and it's gonna be so exciting, isn't it? Isn't it gonna be the most exciting? <laughs> okay. Good night, Cora. And good night, people. Hello, friends. It is Thursday afternoon, and the AC started just as I started filming. I bet that's a fun sound. So stuff today. Um, just took Cora around, and um, she doesn't know it yet, but that's the last time I'm walking her, and that'll be really good because she misses her dad a whole lot, and he's going to be home in, like, two hours and she's going to lose her mind. Um, I am not going to the library book sale yet because I refuse to leave my apartment until I have this fucking vest from Amazon. They usually deliver around 5. Luckily the library book sale runs until 9 p.m. and I'm not leaving until I can get the package or until Brian is here and he can confirm that he will get the package when it arrives. I left a note on my door. I went and talked to the front office. I've covered all my bases. I've done what I can. But I have two pieces of mail here, and I believe that they are both items that I need for my cosplay. So we're gonna open up the Amazon one. I think this one is pins. Okay, so I've got my Luna Love Good glasses. These are going to be, um, I might wear them. I might just tuck them into the front pocket of my vest. <laughs> let's let's not jinx ourselves though. Um, and then I also got these two pins. 
They are spell books, and I'm just gonna use them to decorate the vest at some point. Uh, so that's from Amazon, and then I have one thing from Etsy, and I'm hoping the other thing from Etsy will arrive soon and will be left in my mailbox. Let's cross our fingers for a mailbox drop-off, um, because that'll be the other pin that I need. My lion head Luna pin. Um, but let's see. Hopefully, these are earrings. Yes, they're earrings! Okay. So, I have radish earrings. Can you see? What I'm gonna do is, so my thing for Luna is, it's a little bit punk and it's a little bit gay. It's walking the line. So what I am going to do for these lovely pieces of jewelry, let me tell you who made these on Etsy. So these were made by Honey P Handmade on Etsy and I will leave that Etsy uh, linked down in the description below. And then I have a pin that's coming and that was done by Marlissa's Menagerie. So I'll leave both of those Etsy's linked below. Um, as they are part of my like Luna cosplay and they have made some really cool stuff. Uh, but what I'm going to do with these radish earrings is to make them a little gayer, a little bit more punk, um, I'm going to lengthen one of them. So one of them's gonna hang a lot lower than the other, which means I'm just gonna add a bunch of like uh, little clasps, not clasps, like a little chain and that's gonna make this one hang lower than the other one. So I'm gonna do that, and I'm gonna wait for this vest to arrive because that's gonna take the most work. I have a ton to do on it tonight before it gets here. Um, in the meantime, I'm going to rip the sleeves off of my shirt for Luna, and then I am going to practice my wig because I need to do an updo. So I need to practice doing my um, hair now that I have all the supplies I need. And that is Thursday. Hey all, filming on my phone, I hope that's okay. Uh, I just did pre-registration for Fanex, so we should be all set to go tomorrow when that happens. And now Brian and I are going to run to the library book sale, and no worries, the vest got here in time, it's all okay. Here, Brian, show off your stuff. What'd you get? I got some graphic novels. It's most, mostly just angel mostly just ones angel. and then a Civil War thing I found, but uh, it's still cool. I got all the books. They're mostly gay. Um, hold on though, no. because they need to know that I'm she not would not purchase that. neon green, which love, it looks lovely. Everyone go look it up and tell her how she's wrong for not buying this. I'm not wrong. I made the right choice. I don't know that I made the right choice buying this many books, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Good morning, good morning, my lovely people. It is Fanex day one, and already we have been dealing with some bullshit. So I've had issues with my contact lenses in the past. Like, I bought a full set of them last October to go to Fanex, tried to put them in the day of, and it was a nightmare. One got stuck in my eye, and ultimately I saw worse with them in than with them out. And I just assumed it was because of the company that I bought the contact lenses from. So, uh, yes, two days ago when I went to my eye doctor to, to grab contact lenses, I was like, okay, these people know what they're doing. They're my eye doctor. Went to put in contact lenses again today. Same thing. Didn't work. Saw worse. Everything was terrible. And even using, like, contact lens, um, refreshing eye drops, it did nothing. So, 
And Brian starts asking me some questions about my site, how I see, what the deal is with that. And he goes, so why do you have like a plus as your prescription? And I was like, oh, I don't know. I just assumed that it was opposite for glasses and contact lenses. This is not the case. So Brian went and got one of his contact lenses, which is, um, mine is 2.25, his is 2.75, and I put in one of his negative 2.75 contact lenses, and it fixed everything. Which means that my eye doctor wrote down a plus sign when they should have written a negative, and it's been their fault this entire time. So I am wearing one of his contact lenses for now in my eye that has close to that prescription. This eye is pretty much okay, like it doesn't see perfectly, but it's not blurry as hell, which this one is. But we are gonna run by an eye doctor on our way to Fanex and see if they can give me like an actual correct set of lenses. Um, and by the way, my hair looks like this because I'm about to do my wig situation, but first I have to do my makeup. But ultimately, there is your update for today. Always a wild time here on the first day of a convention. Hi people, we finally made it. Yay. I have no idea where this is pointed. Maybe it's up at you, maybe it's not. Now it, it's, it, uh, hi. There you go. <laughs> um, we had to make a stop at the eye doctor, which turned into a, an ordeal Such <laughs> at an the ordeal. eye doctor, uh, considering I just wanted one set of contact lenses, but we got them. So maybe we're going to get in the convention center and then I'll put them in. Um, but it's like 2.30 in the afternoon. We did it. We did it. Um, we're gonna go in now. Brian looks like Finn, by the way. Hi, I'm Finn. He's Finn. Ah, <laughs> and I will show you more of my full Luna cosplay uh, once we get inside. Show you all the details and stuff. Yay, Fanex! <laughs> That's so great. Yay! Look, we met Clark Gregg too. I'm, a I'm shaking. Boy. Sorry if the camera's shaking a little bit. <laughs> That's <laughs> all Hi. Okay, it's day two. We didn't close out day one or introduce day two. We just started it. Whoa! Um, but we just did both our photo ops. We all met Clark Gregg. This is Rosie, by the way. Hello. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> um, and. It was good, and I met Belly Piper, and I kind of lost it. And two people like got engaged in front of Clark Gregg, which was super cool. It was a Jack Frost proposing to an Elsa. How time do you? Do it's either skill. of you have anything to add? Um. <laughs> oh, uh, Zachary Levi walked past us. Yes. Yeah, just and really, really like so yeah. quickly. Yeah. Super speed. Oh, yeah. and we met. Um, we met Christopher Gorham yesterday. Yep. From other side of heaven, from the magician, really the magician. He, he wasn't charging anything for like 
signing things or selfies, so we took a picture with him, and as we were leaving, we just saw him walking across the crosswalk like a like, normal person. Like some kind of pleb. Like. He had to carry his own stuff, too. <laughs> he's in The Magicians. The, he's, a, he's a real actor, and he had to walk with us common folk. It was, it was by lot. nerds and costumes. Right? So, yeah. We probably um, didn't even recognize him. Poor I guy. Poor dude. Poor guy. <laughs> um, but we're just going to do a lot more looking at vendors and stuff today, and hopefully eventually I'll calm down from photo ops. I don't know how you two are feeling. Not calm. <laughs> not calm? Okay. Well, at least I'm not alone. <laughs> leaving the convention for the day, for day two. Um, and this is only a two day convention, Fan X, since it's in the spring. Usually it's three days, right now it's two days. So we're done, that's the end of the convention. Um, I hoped you liked our sparing updates and the more cosplays that I filmed than I usually do in a, a convention vlog. That's Excellent. I'm totally nailing Nailed this. Nailed it. We're gonna head out, we're gonna get some food, take the contact lenses out of our eyes. They burn. Possibly burn them yeah. as retribution for the burn they cause. Um, and maybe tomorrow we will film a quick update and show you everything we bought. Not a full haul, just like an overview of the stuff we bought because we bought a bit. Just a little. Just a little bit. But for now, I hope you enjoyed watching our convention stuff. Thank you for watching it, and just in case we don't film an update, bye! bye.